Good morning students. Welcome to the statistics class. This is my YouTube channel Statistics by Matthews. If ever you have not subscribed it, subscribe it students. You will get notification. Any new class or any new lesson or any new video. Uh, if I post it or if I upload in the YouTube, you will get immediate notification. So I request each and every one of you to subscribe to my channel. Okay, in the previous videos and in all the previous classes, I was explaining to you all about index numbers. And that too we were solving in the recent videos, we were solving problems on weighted aggregative index numbers. Okay, I have taken one problem from the te textbook and I have explained very in detail how to calculate last year's index number, past year's index number, dobbish Pauli index number, Fisher's index number and Marshall Edgeworth index number. Okay, so the uh, same likewise here also right today also or even now and I'm going to take you one one problem I'm going to take one problem from the textbook and solve here the the variety of data we should understand students okay the data what is displayed on the screen to you is not usual one is not the typical one it is something variety a, a variety in it what is that variety let's identify that okay so before that students I will crop this question to you and uh, see that we will only have the data and the question and then it will be easy for you to understand what I am doing with this problem okay okay see the question is very simple students you can see that from the following data construct Dobbish Bowley's and Fisher's ideal index number that's it from the following data construct Dobbish Bowley's and Fisher's ideal index number for time being I'll keep I'll keep this word out ideal we'll only think about it index number Fisher's index number from the following data construct Dobbish Bowley's and Fisher's index number Let's check the data here. Items are four items they have given. Base year column is given. Base year has two sub columns that is price per unit and total expenditure is given here. Current year is another column. Price and total expenditure is given here as well. Unlike in the previous video and the previous problem, we have not come across this word, this column rather instead of this column we got some column called as quantity quantity base year price quantity current year price quantity but here they have given us something like total expenditure here also total expenditure right this is the variety students this is a, a, a variety in this uh, index numbers now first thing students you need to understand what do you mean by expenditure or how do we calculate expenditure expenditure of any item students expenditure of any item is always calculated with this equation what is that equation price into quantity what it is price into quantity expenditure of any item is taken as price into quantity expenditure other name or other word can also be as value this also you keep it in your mind students expenditure other name the other word for it is value value of an item how do you calculate value of an item it is the price and the quantity okay the price and the quantity so for example you go to uh, a jewelry shop fine and you buy some uh, gold some ornaments okay so some gold you buy a necklace or anything so what uh, how what is the value of that item or what is that value of the jewelry box 
or what is the expenditure in the jewelry showroom that you have uh, uh, incurred is how do we calculate it is the quantity of gold into the price of gold is it right the quantity if at all you have purchased 30 grams into price per 10 gram how much it is so we calculate that and tell us the value or the expenditure of that jewelry box is it right so that's how we take it as so price in index number we take this to be as p and quantity we take this to be as q so in short we can also write as pq students pq p into q is it right expenditure means p into q pq correct fine so now let's go through this column once again price of the base year i'll denote this price as the base year as p naught is it right okay then base year expenditure expenditure how we do calculate i said we calculate as p into q is it right p into q right but this expenditure also is of the base year it is so i'll take it as p0 q0 students i hope you have understood why 0 0 0 indicates base year so expenditure of the base year is p0 q0 now current year price is p1 and expenditure of current year expenditure is pq is it right pq now current year expenditure is p1 q1 is that clear yes current year why is it one because current year in index number is expressed as one base year in index number is expressed as zero so this is what we have it students clear this is the data that is given to us now Dobbish Bowley index number. When they say Dobbish Bowley index number, students, what is the formula that we have for Dobbish Bowley index number? P01 dB is equal to half, is it right? Half summation P1 Q0 divided by summation P0 Q0 plus summation P1 Q1 divided by summation p naught q1 whole close bracket into 100 is that right okay then this is the fisher's index number formula p01 f is given as square root of all in the bracket summation p1 q0 divided by summation p naught q0 into here is where most of the students uh, do the mistake they won't practice the pro formula correctly uh, they write all the terms they write all the terms perfectly and uh, you know uh, uh, actually I should uh, uh, put the bracket outside I'll put it in this way okay this would be better right fine so most of the students do the mistakes here itself instead of it's a product it's a geometric mean it's a product here okay instead of multiplying most of the students add such mistakes um, are not forgiven students i'm telling you such mistakes are not forgiven you do all this correctly you write all this correctly only when it comes here you you change it your whole answer goes wrong you will not be getting the complete marks okay so these are the two main things that you have to remember okay so these are the things that we have now looking at this formula what are the things that we need to find out so if ever we add these this column students this column if we add we get sum of all p naught q naught which is which we require sum of p naught q naught if we add this column summation p1 q1 it would be and this also is done so what we require is p1 q0 p0 q1 and here also would be the same okay so now at the same time when we just look at it we have p0 and we have p1 students p0 is given p1 is given but um, do we have q0 and q1 no that is what we need to find out students that is the extra work that we have to do q0 what is this q0 
Q0 you get it is expenditure divided by the price of the base here that is 50 divided by 2 50 divided by 2 you get 25 20 divided by 4 you get 5 8 divided by 1 you get 8 30 divided by 5 it is 6 is that right then the same likewise Q1 is expenditure of current year divided by the price of the current year 60 divided by 5 it is 12 48 divided by 8 it is 6 20 divided by 2 it is 10 and 70 divided by 10 it is 7 is that clear students okay right so now let me erase some of the terms whatever is here I'll just erase them because for the calculation we require I hope you have understood what is this expenditure value and all okay right if not you can just rewind the uh, video and understand it once again okay fine so now I even uh, delete this fishers will go with only fast the Dobbish Pauli index number okay right are you and are you uh, following what I'm saying what I'm saying students yes okay the next thing what is that we need to find out we need to find out according to the formula P1 Q0 P1 Q0 okay right I'll write it as P1 Q0 so what is this P1 Q0 P1 is where this 5 into 25 it is 125 is that right okay then 8 into 5 it is 40 2 into 20 2 into 8 it is 16 10 into 6 it is 60 likewise we can calculate P naught Q1 okay P naught Q1 P naught is 2 Q1 is 12 2 into 12 is 24 then 4 into 6 is again 24 1 into 10 is 10 and 5 into 7 is 35 is that clear students okay then now let's sum up let's sum this would be how much 6 plus 5 is 11 7 8 plus 6 14 it is 241 what is this 241 it is sum of all p1 q0 and p0 q1 p0 q1 it is uh, 8 plus 5 it is 13 5 6 9 93 students this is summation P not Q1 I hope it's clear visible to you okay so now if you add these this if this one if you add we get 8 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 9 is 19 students 198 what is this this is summation P1 Q1 and what would be this 50 30 80 100 108 is the total what is this 108 this is summation p naught q naught right 70 30 100 plus 8 or not 8 substitute here students substitute 1 by 2 summation p1 q naught is 241 divided by p naught q naught is 108 plus Summation P1Q1 is 198 divided by 93 into 100. That is equal to 1 by 2. 241, students, 241. What is that 241 upon 108? How much it would be? 241 divided by 108 is 2.23. 2.231. plus 198 198 divided by 93 is 2 2.129 into 100 let's add this 2.231 2.231 plus 2.129 is equal to 4.36 
I divide by 2, divide by 2 is 2.18 and I multiply by 100, I get answer as 218. This whole thing, okay, into 100. If I get all together, I will be getting it as 218% students, okay. So whole thing I have calculated. I will show that to you 2.231 uh, plus 2.129 is how much? 4.36. This is 4.36 students. I divided this 4.36 divided by 2 and I multiplied by 100. I got 218%. So if, I, if we take base here as 100, okay, this is the base as 100. So how much more? you find 200 118 more is it right so we can clearly say that here as 118 percent increase we can write okay so this is what is all about dobbish poly index number students so let's do the same likewise for uh, fisher's index number fisher's index number what is the formula for fisher's index number what is the formula that we have for Fisher's index number? Uh, it is P01, P01, correct? P01 is equal to root of or bracket root of, correct? P01 is equal to bracket root of summation p1 q0 divided by summation p0 q0 into summation p1 q1 divided by summation p0 q1 this whole thing into 100 is it right so i'll put that everything all those uh, terms whatever we got i'll substitute here p1 q0 what is a p1 q0 we got 241 p0 q0 it is 108 p1 q1 it is 198 and P0Q1, it is 93 into 100. Okay. So, what it is? Let's see. I will uh, do it for you. 241 divided by 108 is equal to 2.231. As we have seen, 2.231 into 198. 198 divided by 93 is how much 2.129 2.129 into 100 so I'll write it here again one more time I'll multiply these two things students that is 2.231 into 2.129 is equal to how much it is it is 4.749 okay into 100 so I'll take it here that is root of that is 2.1794 into 100 root of 4.7497 so if we multiply this with 100 you get 217.94 percent students so how much uh, percentage more you find if you keep 100 as base uh, how much more to 100 you see here it is 117.94 percent more increase over the past or the base year this is what is Fisher's index number students I hope you have followed this uh, uh, problem students if you haven't you can just rewind and watch the video once again okay right most importantly understand this so expenditure if they, uh, if they ask as expenditure what you need to do or in the in place of expenditure if value is given what you need to do the same okay it is the same expenditure or value is the same so if ever they give quantity what you have to do all that you need to just go through the previous video go to this do the video compare them compare the problem because you have already written in the notes compare that problem and this problem then you will understand what we have done okay right thank you in the next class uh, we will go to the next uh, concept students okay
थैंक यू टेक केयर बाय